what you're seeing right here is the entrance to the uh, new law enforcement center um, that where, where the beams at that'll be a glass entrance area okay right here is going to be book in this is uh, where the um, inmates will be brought in and they'll be processed here and um, basically this is their check into the jail right here the red casing is uh, representing uh, security doors security doors and windows the windows will be bulletproof glass and the doors will be electronic doors that will have to be um, opened by dispatch what we're looking at here is going to be the evidence room. This is what, what would be considered evidence storage. And the smaller room is the evidence bookend. This room will house um, basically our um, 911 system and all communications. Behind these two windows will exist the main dispatch center, and, and that's known as master control. Master control will take care of all the doors, all the operations of this building. There's going to be automatic shutoffs for water, power, whatever. If we have a problem on the jail site, master control will be able to shut any of those things down from this area. The church, things for the inmates will take place in this room. Um, the, our library for the inmates will be located here. Um, it, it'll be kind of a a room that will be utilized for um, numerous things. This is our sally port. It's big enough to hold two units that I'll pull in here. Um, the person that um, generally, if somebody's under arrest, I'll pull in here and they'll be taken through this door here and uh, they'll be uh, processed and taken in and uh, booked, booked in. Okay, this represents the entry um, from the Sally Port, where we'll bring the prisoners in, will come through this door. Um, they would sit down at, at here if they were in compliance, but if they're not in compliance, they go into this first door here if they're just being combated with the officer, and that, that cell just gives them an opportunity to calm down, and, and uh, we, we can go back and uh, try and revisit with them after they get calmed down. What you're entering here, this is what's called the open control station. Um, the open control has a complete view of all the jail cells. As you see, they wrap around the open control here where, or where the jailer will be uh, sitting to uh, monitor what's going on. Um, almost every one of these doors have a window in them, so they can also have view inside the uh, jail cell. As you see over here, that's the actual jail cells that are lining up on the uh, west side of the building here. Okay, when you come through this door, this represents a day room. A uh, day room is where the inmates allowed out of the cells that you see right behind me, and they're able to spend basically the day out here. This is the jail cell. These are all uh, steel construction. And as you uh, see, it's, uh, this cell will actually hold um, four prisoners, two in each cell. And as you enter that, um, you'll see there's a double bunk, a shower, and a restroom, and then a small uh, table and a chair there for them to sit at. Unit heading up to the Code 3 chase. Suspect was last reported southbound on Highway 99. Can you give me more info on that call? Just clear another call. I'm headed over there. Closing fast on a vehicle that matches the description uh, that reported party. All units go to condition two. Piled into a rig. Standby. I'm going to try to get in front of this guy and slow him down. CR 16.